just like that. Pie is done. That looks pretty good. Look at that. Mmm, really good. Okay, today we're gonna make apple pies, pastry sheets, in the Ninja Foodie. And it's pretty simple, I'm gonna show how to bake it. Basically, we use a medium-sized apple, any type of apple that you desire. Core it, skin it, three quarters of one medium-sized apple. So what they do is like cut it thin. You wanna cook the apple down, you don't wanna take too long. And then just cut it across rice. Okay, so once that's done, we'll take the apples over. And here what I got, some butter. This is three tablespoons of butter, and I got it melted. And then once it's melted, then we're gonna add in two heaping tablespoons of just white sugar. And then I have one teaspoon of cinnamon and just mix this together it's going to create that apple filling type of sauce that you so you mix it until the sugar dissolves into the butter it becomes like liquid like it's turning to now it's going to start caramelizing pretty soon now once it gets to the liquid point then we start adding in the apples okay so it's almost totally dissolved we just add in the apples. And we're gonna cook down the apples for about five minutes. So it doesn't take that long, but you wanna make the apples tender. So make sure we're on single layer of apples. And you don't have to fuss around too much with the apples. They're gonna cook down pretty much on their own. Just turn on the heat and just let it cook down. Now, while the apples are cooking down, we had this pastry puff. It's and actually it's frozen, and then it's been out for about 40 minutes or so, so now it's defrosted a bit. It's got three layers, so we're just going to cut off one layer and set this aside. And then we got two layers left, and we're going to cut this in half. And this is going to be our apple pie. Just make sure it's nice and loose. Okay, and we'll just wait for the apples to cook down. So it should be another four minutes. Then we'll assemble the apple pie. We'll put it in the air fryer for like 350 degrees for about 15 minutes, and we're gonna have apple pie. Okay, the apple's been cooking exactly five minutes. I can see it's getting a little bit tender. I was trying to cook it at medium low heat or medium heat. You wanna get that sauce to get like the way it is now. See, it's a little bit syrupy. So you want a little thick, so you don't want the sauce to be too watery. So we're just cooking down the excess liquid, and this is ready to be put in our apple pie. If you recall, we had that one strip that we set aside. I cut into fours because we could make some leftover apples, so we're gonna make some little like tarts there. But we'll just grab some apple and put it inside. So basically, you got the apples inside the turnover like this, and sort of like in the middle. We're using a rectangle shape now. So grab the two ends and fold it like this. Now we got this piece over here. And we're just gonna grab this piece and fold it and then pinch it at the corners here. And we'll set it on our crisper pan here, like this. And we'll do the same with the second one. Again, fold it over. And then this thing comes across the bottom. Grab it and put it on a pan. You just want to be sure that the corners are pinched in pretty good. We're not too concerned about the tops too much because they're going to explode out. Now we got these left over and we just grab a couple of pieces like that. And then this is pretty easy. You don't want to put too much apples in it because you won't be able to fold it. And you're just going to roll it, that's all. Nothing fancy here, just roll it. And wherever you got room, stick it wherever you got room on this pan. This is where it's better when you, you got the smaller apples than the bigger one. And actually whatever apple is going to left over, you're going to just eat by itself because this thing is really good. It's not a work of art. Close the lid. Air fry. 350 for 15 minutes. 
Okay, we'll see you back in 15 minutes. Good. Okay, that pie is done. We'll take it out. Now that was 15 minutes. I didn't preheat the food. Now, while it's still warm, then you can take your little powdered sugar. We're just gonna sprinkle some powdered sugar on top like this. It gives it some additional sweetness too. Then I'm going to sprinkle these while we're at it. Cool off for a second. We don't want to burn our mouth here. You can see it's nice and puffy. And the apples on the inside are nice and cooked. It's own juices. Let's see if we can get this thing cut open. Should let it sit for a couple of minutes, but we're kind of anxious, aren't we? Guess what our apple pie looks like. And I guarantee you, it's really, really, really good. But it's gonna burn your mouth. We got the smaller one here. And this is done with the leftover dough. Let's see what this thing looks like. You can see how hot it is. It's really hot. So hopefully I don't burn my mouth. Cool it down a little bit. You hear the dogs getting ready behind me. Mmm, <laughs> really good. Don't burn your mouth now, do you? Okay, there we go. Like it? Oh yeah. And since it's like an apple pie, you know, you could have a scoop of vanilla ice cream next to it. They're waiting for it to cool down. So, I hope you found this video informative. Please click the like button, and you, when you have a chance, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Look at that. Mmm, really good. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, I just want to add this real quickly. Before we use the Petridge Farm ones, pastry sheets. Those are frozen. Now these are in your refrigerator section. This is just roll. It looks just like this. They come in tubes. I think Pillsbury has one too. And you just unroll it, cut what you need. And the good thing about the refrigerated ones that it's already defrosted. So you're pretty much ready to roll. And as you can see, it puffs up higher than the uh, Petridge Farm ones. And you can see how big and puffy you got. But I just want to show you, rather than using a frozen one, you know, they also have the ones that's in the refrigerator section. And naturally, uh, if you're a good baker, you can make your own pastry puffs. They're fairly easy to do, from what I understand, but uh, I haven't done it. You know, these things cost about $4 and they're 18.2 ounces. You got enough in here to make two sets just like this. So it comes out to about the same as the Petridge Farm because these things blow up more. Although Petrit Farm is like 17 ounces and this is 13 ounces. So I just want to just show you quickly on a different type of pastry puff that I found at the grocery store. These things are gigantic.